What's up guys, Colin Stucker here, founder CEO of Wild Foods Co. I'm gonna talk to you about cocoa butter, how to use it, what it's good for, and why this superfood should be in your pantry. So stay tuned, no matter how you use it. Listen. What is cocoa butter? Now, it doesn't come in these nice little wafer forms. Uh, when it's extracted, it's hot because you have to press it out of the cocoa beans. You remove the cocoa solids, which is the dark part of chocolate. This is the fatty part of chocolate. This is what gives it that rich, fatty mouthfeel. And this is full, the fatty part, of antioxidants. The reason it's good for your skin is because of those antioxidants and the antimicrobial and all the other benefits that you find in this delicious, nutritious, luxurious, smooth, vegetable fat. In fact, this is one of the only vegetable plant-based fats. I mean, olive, olive oil is good. You shouldn't really heat, with it though. heat it though. This is one of the only ones that we recommend you eat on a regular basis. Seed oils and other oils that are, comp that are pressed out of plants that aren't really designed to have fat in them, like cocoa, the cocoa plant and the cocoa beans, for example, is a very unique food stuff from nature. Whereas if you have something like canola oil, uh, grape seed oil, uh, what else do they use? I mean, they use safflower oil, sunflower oil, things like that. A lot of nut and seed oils just aren't really something we should be eating on a regular basis because there's a lot of omega-6 and a lot of omega-9. Um, I mean, there is omega-6 in cocoa butter. It just has so many other things too that this is a, a healthy part of a balanced, nutritious, real food diet. And so this is something that you can put in your skin. It's something you can put in your coffee. And we're gonna talk about how to use it and what the specific benefits are. So the first thing that most people think about when they hear cocoa butter is skin, external use, right? But it's also in every chocolate bar on the planet that's tasty, right? <laughs> you can eat it and you can put it on your skin. The reason that you get a lot of the health promoting benefits of chocolate and a lot of the research that says chocolate is, is good for you and this and that is because of the cocoa beans themselves and this is the raw cocoa fat from cocoa beans. If you have 100% dark chocolate, you're gonna have cocoa solids, which are the brown part, and then you're gonna have the cocoa fat, which is this, blended in. If you have white chocolate, for example, you remove the cocoa solids, and you have just this, and then you would then add sugar, and that would make a white chocolate bar. Cocoa itself is extremely good for you for a lot of reasons, and one of the most talked about the most marketed reasons why cocoa is good for you is because of the antioxidant count. It's one of the highest antioxidant foods that we eat on a regular basis. Cocoa butter is also really good for the skin because of the same antioxidant load. You have this in lip balms, skin creams, anti-aging things, a lot of cosmetic products because one, it's a fat, so it naturally is gonna help moisturize your skin and protect it. And it also has vitamin uh, E and omega-3 very great for external health, but also good for internal health. That's why you see this in all kinds of external use products and it's why most people usually refer to cocoa butter as something that goes on your body and most people don't realize that it's also in chocolate so it goes in your body. So we know it's got a lot of nutrition and it's good for you in that way. How do you use it aside from on your body and aside from external use? Well, this I put in my coffee every morning. What I do is when I'm making my Drink Your Fat coffee, which you can get the free guide at drinkyourfat.com to learn about that, is I'm dropping a couple of these in. I also do a little bit of grass-fed butter and I do a dash of MCT oil and all those nutritious fats are gonna help me fast through the day while also providing energy and giving me some ketone production and fueling my brain. And so this is one of those pure fats that can go in that recipe because it doesn't have anything else. It doesn't have any carbs or protein. It's just awesome and it adds a, kind of a, a unique cocoa flavor and aroma to the drink, and it's just my preferable way to use it. Now, also, if you want to make homemade chocolate, you're gonna grab this. So you basically could take our wild chocolate powder, which I don't have any up here, uh, and then you're, you would take this and you can melt it down until it's nice and silky smooth and the right consistency, and then you could add some sweetener or whatever. You could put on a sheet pan, throw it in the, the fridge until it hardens up, and then you have like a chocolate bark ready to eat. Now, making chocolate and, and tempering it and getting it shelf stable, those are all processes that I don't really know. I haven't really spent the time to do that, but I have made chocolate bark with this, with, with a sweetener and with cocoa powder, and it's pretty awesome because it's basically homemade chocolate at home. 
that you can control the amount of sweetener you put in and you can control the other ingredients. If you wanna put some nuts and seeds, some flake salt, you make a really cool picturesque chocolate bar that is delicious and homemade. Aside from that, uh, you can cook with this in recipes. You can drop some in soup. I mean, it's just a, it's a super food super fat. I mean, you can really do all kinds of stuff with it. You can make your own body butters and lip balms. You could put some on your lips if your lips are chapped. You can melt it down and rub it into your, your hair, rub it into your arms. Now keep in mind, it's very fatty, so it can be very greasy. So use a little bit at a time and work through it. Uh, this is also an ingredient in a product that we sell, partner with Majestically Made, which is an Austin skincare company that makes this in small batches in, uh, from scratch, shea butter, and cocoa butter is what she uses to make the body butter recipe. It's a very thick, luxurious, silky body butter that you can rub on your skin and everything. And so just an excellent, awesome ingredient. It's something that everyone should have in their pantry. And I love the stuff. I use it pretty much daily. And so if you want to get your bag, go to wildfoods.co and use promo code WILDCEO for 12% off and grab these and just start experimenting, you know, put them in your coffee, blend it up, make a nice little frothy. Uh, yeah, that's what it can be. It can actually be a dairy free creamer, right? You blend up into coffee instead of using milk, you can use something like this and it is just spot on. All right. So that was today's video guys. Go ahead and get your bag over at wildfoods.co and get some cocoa butter in your life because it's awesome. And as always, life is too short to be anything but your best. Make sure you subscribe, slap the thumbs up, jab the subscribe button or jab the thumbs up and stop the subscribe, whatever works for you. Let's get to it. Be your best self, invest in your nutrition, invest in your health, and I'll see you on the flip side. Uh -oh.